Well, as you said, Schroeder turned down that four-year, $84 million extension, which was the most the Lakers could offer him during the season, knowing that there was more out for him in free agency. And you have teams like Chicago and New York with cap space, New Orleans trying to create the cap space to have to go get a pink, big point guard, perhaps Dallas in that mix. But listen, I think people have to look back at this postseason with Dennis Schroeder. And remember, he had COVID late in the year and was out for 10 days and not in the gym and sick and then showed up and played in the playoffs. The performance wasn't there, but we saw plenty of other players in the league who went through that at different points in the year. They traded for him from Oklahoma City a year ago with the idea that they would re-sign him. And as you said, they cannot replace him if he leaves. They have literally offered Kyle Kuzma and KCP to almost, almost every team I've talked to in the league has been offered some combination of Kuz and KCP, sometimes both of them, one of them, and that's not going to get them back a point guard of of uh, of Dennis's uh, stature. And so I think, listen, he's got options again. Chicago, New York. I still think in the end, there's a deal to be made for him to stay with the Lakers uh, because all of a sudden now you're talking about could we go get Ricky Rubio, like some good players. But I still think Schroeder is a player who who moves the needle and let's get him out of a COVID season, get him back with a training camp with this team, and, and it's probably going to look a lot different.